one in your conference matters. A and lot. I do not think that, oh, it's the East. I'm sorry. The East has Kevin Durant, James Harden, Kyrie Irving. Yeah. The East has Giannis Antetokounmpo, the two-time reigning MVP. So, oh, it's the East makes, sorry, that doesn't wash. Now, Rachel Nichols, you had a point, but you put it about the worst way possible. And, it, and that shit doesn't sound right. But why don't you say that they get bounced out of the first seat by the Brooklyn Nets and then they the first week see the next week when Joel Embiid comes back. Why don't you say that? And why, out of all things, would three of the superstars you're naming, why would you put them all on one team? Because back then, shit, hey, hold on. The East wasn't weak in 2016. They had LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, and Kevin Love. Now, they weren't weak in 2011. They had LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Bosh. That's about the stupidest thing I can hear. Nikola Jokic is getting the Giannis treatment. What does that mean? Last year, the MVP race wasn't a race. Giannis didn't have a competitor. Bucks on pace to win 70 games. Giannis has the greatest PER in a single season. Giannis can win DPOI. Bucks can win the chip. And then, LeBron. After one week of LeBron beating the Clippers, the Bucks, and like another good solid playoff team, all of a sudden, LeBron is the MVP. Jokic has received the same. He's been leading or second the whole time. And all of a sudden, when he's pulling away, there's a new agenda. The MVP races here started with Jokic versus B versus KD. Jokic versus B versus LeBron. Jokic versus LeBron versus Harden. Jokic versus Harden versus Dame. Jokic versus Dame versus Curry. Jokic versus Curry versus Giannis. Jokic versus B. Uh, why is Jokic in there the whole time? It's because he's the MVP. Simple as that. Jokic, not only that, has been a top five off-ball player this season. And that doesn't mean a lot, but a lot of the MVPs from the past couple years have been pretty damn ball dominant. If we look at James Harden MVP season or Russell Westbrook's MVP season, their usage rate was through the roof. And uh, Jokic is not the same. And then availability. Jokic wins. Jokic has not missed a game this season 100%. But not only this, some of these teams without their MVP, they're fine. They've been okay or at least mediocre. The Sixers without Embiid are 9-9. Dame, somehow, the Portland Trailblazers without Dame and Lillard are 3-0. We just capped because, you know what I'm saying, those are some fluke-ass wins. And Harden with the Nets. He's 11, the, the Nets are 11-11 without Harden. But did we forget about Harden in the beginning of the season? When he basically quit on the Rockets? Shouldn't that factor something into his MVP campaign? All-star teammates this year. Let's go through them, man. Nikola Jokic is at zero. Joel B had one with Ben Simmons. But I'll give that an excuse, man. Ben Simmons been uh, weird, to say the least. James Harden is at two. That motherfucker on the super team. Giannis Antetokounmpo, zero. And LeBron James, one. Not only that. The numbers that Jokic is putting up are the most efficient that any big has ever had. Jokic is shooting 56, 43, 85, which a big has never done that. That's the most efficient a big has ever been. A big has never also averaged the amount of assists Jokic has in a season with his level of efficiency. And to even add more to the agenda, Nikola Jokic has had one of the most injured rosters this season. 9 out of 11 of his rotation players have been hurt at least once this year. Jamal Murray, who just had a season-ending injury, which was his 20-point-per-game scorer, who was almost shooting 50-40-90. Uh, no more, but he's 2-0 and he's without Jamal Murray since that injury. This Nuggets team is depth as suspect. It can either be great one night, or it can be really not great at all. But, I mean, the MVP is carrying him. Not only that. The Nuggets have been great against teams that are above 500 this season. With all their weird things of lineups and people coming in, people coming out, 
trades and shit like that. They have a 62 win percentage against teams that are above 500, 18 and 11. Other teams with MVP candidates on their team, the Blazers are 33% against above 500 teams, 8 and 16. Bucks are 16 and 11, and Warriors are 10 and 18. And Jokic is the only player in the league to be top 10 in rebounds, points, and assists. Jokic is the MVP.